said he's got to stay in there right now. Now you got to go take it. Deep breath. Let's go to work. Come on. Come on. <laughs> see how tough he ran. See how tough he ran. No give up. Let's get out there. Let's just give it our best. That's all the sports about, all right? Reed and I are the same person. We both like love our bacon, egg, cheese sandwiches in the morning. Is that what you're going with? There's no bacon, so just okay. eggs. I just take whatever Reed does and I just copy it and make it <laughs> slightly better. <laughs> we'll see tonight if I can do the same. I don't know about these guys, but like I just had found it a little bit hard to get in like the, oh man, we're racing on the track tonight headspace, but watching the races and seeing our guys like in uniform, definitely made things a little bit more real, which was, I think, a good dose of uh, reality for me. Sydney, how did you sleep last night? Oh, pretty good. Got 10 hours of sleep, so that's, that's always nice. Yeah. Uh, and woke up to the high tide, so I'm just watching that. It's kind of nice. You good? Hey, Brogan, what time is it? Game time. No, not yet. 12 o'clock time. Still 9.40. 11.40, still 10 hours uh, left. Let's go. Yeah, Lord of the Rings queued up for after. We're ready. You guys have fun out there. And we'll start our shake out run with four sun salutations. And now, Joe, it's just you, me, and Corey. I know, I was gonna say, you need to give me my camera time because I have to get my title card. I haven't got a place for my title card yet. Okay. So, hello, everyone. My name's Joe Hale. I'm the intern at the Man Elite. It is 11.40 on Saturday, December 5th. Um, today is 10 k Yeah, I thought last night the 5K guys ran extremely well. I think anytime you have that many guys running, there's going to be some good, some bad. But I thought, you know, with Drew and Sam and Brian uh, really capping the night up for us with great performances. Brian to be right at a lifetime PR with uh, kind of being caught in no man's land and grinding it out by himself. Sam coming off injury, first time in 15 months, even really putting spikes on. And certainly Drew running a PR, doing a lot of the work. I think just the momentum heading into 2021 for us is, it should be extremely exciting. And then, you know, hopefully that kind of builds into the excitement for the 10K guys tonight. And they should really feed off that momentum that they kind of put forth at the end of last night. And, you know, hopefully we're sitting here and having a conversation tomorrow about, you know, coming out with four 10K PRs. All right, ready? Yeah. I'm gonna run or walk? Walk. Like a fast one. <laughs> so fill it up. I won't drink all of that. Come on, Sydney. Come on. Give yeah, my laps to run. <laughs> How you been feeling, Ted? Feeling good. Now, we'll see. I'm like, just trying to do something with my thoughts. We're ready. We're ready. Four. How are they looking so far? They look really good. Yes. Yeah, Sid, Sid looks smooth. He's got that a little bit of that pain face going on, but that's that's pretty normal for him. Uh, six and a half minutes to go. Stay in there, Sydney. Be soft.
I haven't had a good race on the track in fucking almost two years. Like, that wasn't good. That wasn't great. But. Come on. See how tough you ran. See how tough you ran. Keep fighting. No give up there, baby. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, coach. Proud of you. Proud of you. 47 second PR, coach. That's humongous. Yeah, holy shit. That's about to me. Yeah, it's not good enough yet, but. You got heart, brother. It's okay, you got it. Oh yeah, man, that was a hell of a You got eight seconds on the heart, heart, brother. You just threw that in. You know what I mean? Way to keep recommitting. Yeah. Everything left, yeah. recommitting. Yeah. That's yeah. how so you, you fucking do that. Yeah. That's how you gotta do that for that Yeah. yeah. I, I know, yeah, it's, it's good. I mean, I, I got a little bit of fire in me. I, like, I'm, I'm disappointed, for sure. Yeah. Like, us, you know, I don't know. I've been, this is yeah. the shape that I should have been in for the last yeah, four yeah, years, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know, like, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm stoked to like, run a B race, you know, yeah. like an all right race on yeah. the track. It's, yeah, it's been fun. Well, let's get out of here. Hey, your money, your money, keep pumping work. Eyes up, keep working. Stomach was cramping at like mile 14. Thank God Brody was there. I was just like, I told Sydney on the car ride to the airport, like, my calf sweets, like, I have no idea how I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna be a servant for Brody and Connor. To, like, help them out as much as I possibly can. But oh, man, it's like just having Brogan there and being like, I gotta take this lap for him, because I don't know how he's feeling. Just gave me a chance, and I was able to just hold on. PR, dude. Appreciate it. Good shit, bro. We'll be there. Yeah. What was your time, dude? Uh, 18. Yes, that's huge, man. That's huge. Yeah, that's pretty solid. <sighs> Still more work to do. I'm just so so stoked about today. The guys ran great, you know. Reed, I had the team record for like an hour, an hour and a half, or something like that, and so. You know, obviously, <laughs> like, I wish I had it for longer, but it's gonna push me for the next one. Oh, it's tough, man. There's nowhere to hide on the track when you're out there. You either put it out there and it's there, or it's not there. So, training's been spotty the last like month or so, and so I thought I could fake it, and you just can't. You can't fake it on like that big of a stage when the guys are going that fast. Like, you just can't fake it. So, hoping for a little bit more, but it was a 51 second PR for me. Uh, I haven't been on the track in like five years, so it's de definitely really promising for my fitness. I'm still moving in the right direction. Um, you know, my, my focus is in the marathon, but I still want to be the best I can be in every other event. I think today was just like a good kind of reminder to myself that like you just need to trust in the work you've done and not let little things derail you. It just felt good to be out again. Like I haven't raced since July and that wasn't like a great race for me in the 5K. So to come out and run a PR for the first time to kind of end 2020 is a, feels, feels good to get one, as Kevin Malone would say. 